good morning everybody day 57 just got done with the road walk out of Hanover stopped at the co-op they open at 9 so I had to wait 10 minutes for them to open uh, I had to grab a few more tiny little resupply items and the co-op had just what I needed so yeah looks like today is going to be another beautiful beautiful day and we're gonna go over Velvet Racks, Moose Mountain South, Moose North, um, and then Holt Ledges. And I'm trying to try to stop around Holt Ledges somewhere. I'd like to camp right up on top of that thing, but we'll see how the water situation plays out to be able to carry it up there. I don't want to carry it like six miles, uh, but we'll see. Oh, check this out. Dartmouth College, soccer field, baseball field, some other field. <laughs> yeah, we walk right by this, all these fields. <clears throat> and now we're going to go in the woods up to Velvet Rocks. And we'll be in the woods most of the day today. So, yeah. What else? What else? What else? I think that's it. I hope you guys have a great day great day and i'll touch back with the cool stuff and the views you know just like i do baby so let's go enjoy this beautiful beautiful day That's where it came from. And this is like the top of Velvet Rocks. It says there's a view up here. I've never seen a view up here. I just always thought it was because the rocks were covered in moss. That's why it's called Velvet Rocks. If there's a view up here, I've never know where it's at. <laughs> I've never seen it, I guess. All right, now we're gonna drop down. We're gonna cross this road. I forget what the road it is. And then we're gonna climb up to Moose Mountain. There's two peaks, North Peak and the South Peak. I'm assuming we go over the South Peak first. But who knows? Got this cool bridge here. It's actually a boardwalk, I think. If I remember right. Probably wrong. Now, I'm right. It's a little bit of a boardwalk. How pretty. Nice. I love it. It's so beautiful. Oh, look at this. It's like this old foundation. Hmm. Super cool. <laughs> Just right off trail. See? Here's trail. Look, all this grass stuck in my shoe. <laughs> and we're going to go, we'll just cross the road. We're going to cross one more road, and then we're going to start climbing up Moose Mountain. The views up there are pretty decent, too. 
Yeah, looks like someone's been driving a four-wheeler down this thing. It's rutted out. Look how cool it looks in here. I think the camera really does it justice. So it looks way cooler than what it looks like on my camera. Looking down at the camera, I'm like, Ugh. Oh, uh, pick up your feet, Gray. Quit looking at the camera. Trust me, it's a neat little pine forest. Spot. I don't think I've ever seen this sign. Matt Dustin stopped abruptly here. February 21st. Or February 2001. This is the Harris Trail. Intersects the AT. I've never seen that sign. Nice. I'm gonna zoom in. Boop. It's a long, steady climb up here. But it's over. And South Peak, so we're going to North Peak next. Or West Peak or something. I'll let you know when we get there. I know there's two peaks on this mountain. Just dripping wet with sweat. The water's kind of sketchy, so where I want to camp tonight, I might have to carry it miles. Uh, but we'll see. Moose Mountain, South Peak. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? All right. We're between South Peak and North Peak of Moose Mountain right now. In that little gully between the two peaks. The gap, if you will. North Peak. No views. <laughs> it's all right. South Peak had some views. And what we're going to do now, we're going to drop down to this road. I don't know what road it is. I think it's something Pond Road. If, I, if I'm remembering it right. And then we're going to go up the whole ledges. And I'm going to try to camp up there because what was going on at Grafton Turnpike and going to Lyme, New Hampshire, there's an inn with a restaurant attached to it. Well, that's six more miles. The inn is fully booked. I mean, I could go in there and get food, but then I'd have to climb up Smarts Mountain a little ways to get service to be able to get a video out. So we'll see. If I don't have service at Holt Ledges, 
and I'm probably gonna go into the restaurant. If I do have service, I'm gonna stay up there on Holt Ledges. Time will tell. I gotta find water at the bottom of this thing though before I even think about staying up the top of Holt Ledges. And if there's no water, I'll have to go up and down and then into town because I'll be at the road. I might as well just go to town. We'll see. Who knows? Who is leaky tree? Ew. Why, please? Boop. That's where we came from. We've been dropping fast. Still a breeze down here. We're not all the way down yet, but we're getting closer. Which is nice, there's a breeze today. Super nice. I might just, if I, if I can get water down here, what I think I'm gonna do is go to Holt Ledges and camp, sleep in till seven or so and bust down to the general store in Lyme, New Hampshire on Grafton Turnpike <laughs> and grab some breakfast sandwiches and then go climb Smarts Mountain. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Cause I got enough food. I don't really need to go to town tonight, but okay. This thing's driving me nuts. So yeah, that's what I think I'm gonna do. If I can find water, camp on Holt Ledges, go into the store tomorrow morning for breakfast and then climb smarts and cube <laughs> i think i got a plan Alrighty, i'm all loaded up with water and i'm ready to climb i gotta go we gotta go by this swampy boggy area i guess or a pond or something i don't know what it is oh look at this why please See? Nice little boggy area. There we go. This is a better shot. Pretty. Yep, Tamar does not do this justice. <laughs> We're climbing, baby. All righty. We are pretty much done with the climb to Holt Ledges. We gotta drop down a little bit on the other side to get to the ledges. So yeah, you climb up and then drop down just a little bit. And then boom, the ledges will be right there. Hoping for that sweet spot. Nice. This is quite the drop off, uh, if I must say so myself. And uh, this is the first view you come to at Holt Ledge. This might be the Holt Ledge's, like the icon on gut hooks. It just might be. Now my goal is to find a stealth site. Preferably with a view like this. Oh. 
Oh, come on, where's that sweet spot? Well, here's another good spot to sit and chill. Look. I'm going over here. Right on top of that rock wall. And that's where it came from. That's the AT. And it actually cuts back down here. See? Boom. I'm going to take this side trail over to the ski resort. And I'm going to try to find a nice, sweet spot. See what I can do. It's worth a try. Well, well, well. I didn't find a decent side up there. Kind of too picky for my own good. I could have made something work. But I'm still going north. <laughs> I didn't make it work. So the next spot I find, I'm going to tuck up in there. But yeah, we're still on the move. Just past uh, Holt Ledges. Going down. Yes, I packed out spaghettios with meatballs. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Talking blisters up there. <laughs> yes, I'm at a shelter area. And this will probably be the last time I ever do this, too. Uh, it's just not quiet, like... A stealth campsite, you don't hear any talking. It's all by, you seem like you're all by yourself in the middle of the woods, which I love it. But I couldn't find one today, and I didn't want to go any farther. I'd be climbing up Smarts Mountain today. So, end of day recap, everybody. Day 57, we left Hanover, New Hampshire. Thank you, Nate, for coming to grab me in Lebanon and taking me back to the trail. Had Mean Beans and Mountain Dews in his car, too. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Uh... So yeah, we left Hanover, New Hampshire at 1752.1. And we're now sitting at Trapper John Shelter Area. 1768.8 makes it a 16.7 mile day. And uh, today was beautiful. I just wish I would have found a still site. I should have probably just grabbed that one on the way up. <laughs> it had a nice view and everything. But I just wanted to get over that top of that mountain by the Holt Ledges try to find something but I didn't so now I'm here and who knows who's gonna roll in here next this will probably all fill up <laughs> I hope not but it probably will <laughs> that's my luck yeah so I'm pretty sure this will be the last time I'm staying in a shelter area I'm gonna try to stealth camp the rest of the way day 57 16.7 miles and I hope you guys had a great great day and I'll touch back with you guys in the morning, baby.